So, what do you think I need to do to get to a thousand followers? Because I've, I've seen spinning works, I can show you. I could do like a, um, well, Big Bear Business doesn't do any spins. And he has, like, he has a lot of followers. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Jerem here. Today I'm going There's to talk spin. Okay. I'm definitely going to spray something. Um, I, I could hear my head bone, like TLTG. That might work. Let's get an update from Mr. Cheap Sense about Popeye's chicken. Is it worth the hype? Or I could just try to be Matt from Virgin Gent. I feel like that's going to be my best route to go down, just because if I don't succeed doing that, then I don't succeed doing it. I'm not trying to be like anyone else. Um, which brings me to my next point, is what uh, my scent of today. Uh, I started this morning with my first scent, which was a uh, it was Dior Sauvage, the Parfum. Um, so I initially went out and got that because my signature scent last year was the uh, Dior Sauvage EDP. So I was super, super excited about having that and giving that a run. But guys, I lost my decant, so I don't have it here in front of me and I'm kind of okay with that because it kind of sucks. Um, I, I put it on and this morning, um, like I do normally, I put a couple sprays on by my neck and a couple on my chest. And um, when I was at work, I kept trying to feel the same vibe that I got from from, from, from the uh, the the uh, ADT or ADP, excuse me. And I really just wanted to wash it off my skin. It, it was pretty bad. Like it to me, it smelled a lot like like wet towel, and like it just wasn't good, guys. Um, so it, I mean, I would highly you know, suggest against against going out to the store and getting a sample of you to wait your time. There's better stuff that's on the shelf for you to sample. Um, that brings you to my next end of the day, which was I don't know if it's going to be in clear or not, but I'll try. It is the uh, the Andrew Warhol formulation by Essential Wolf Sessions. Guys, this is a great clone house. This was a gift to me from um, from Keith at Mr. Cheap Sense. Um, thank you for this, Keith. Uh, it's great. I, I put that on and the scent from, from this was just significantly better than it was from, from, from the Dior product. Um, but like I mentioned in a previous video, it's like a less harsh, sweet, um, one million lucky to me. Uh, it's, it's pretty much that, that plum that's not quite as overbearing as it is in, in one million lucky. Um, which makes me really want to go out and get a full bottle of this stuff because I, I don't have much left. Um, so I, I'm going to need to pick one of those up. Um, which is saying something just because of the, the amount of volume that I have in my collection, I'm going to this continuously. Uh, but last but not least, I want to talk about a third scent, which is the Valentino Womo Intense. Um, so I've been seeing online that some people are saying that this is uh, discontinued, um, which is interesting to me because it's a great fragrance and a lot of people have it in their collections. Um, I think it's great. It's, it's a great winter scent. Uh, really, the whole line is it, it, it is, is, is nice. Um, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the original Womo, just because it's kind of feminine, in my opinion. Um, the Aqua, uh, which you guys have seen, I'm a big fan of. Uh, it, I see it as a great office and work scent. And this one is going to be a great uh, winter scent. This is great for date nights. It's great for kind of going out and, and, and just doing stuff. Um, not, not necessarily in the office, but this is just a great winter, fall kind of scent. Um, which tomorrow, I have a pretty cool cool video uh, come to you guys with it but guys that's that I um, hopefully at the end of this video or tomorrow I'll be at 400 subs I just want to say thank you all for for coming and checking out these videos um, for leaving likes and comments and and, and everything um, like I always say uh, leave, uh, leave a like leave, leave a comment uh, if you can comment down below just be a gent and don't get bent and I'll see you next time